How did Jesus do it? It's something I've always wondered when I've read the passages in the Bible where Jesus gives great answers to really difficult questions. And Mark chapter 12 is one passage chapter that is like that. Jesus is walking in the temple courts in the lead up to the Easter weekend and all that happened. And the crowds are gathered for the Passover. And in that context, the chief priests and others come and ask him a series of difficult questions about tax, about marriage after the resurrection, and what is the greatest commandment of them all. And I've always been amazed because Jesus seems to answer so well. And I know that I wouldn't answer well in that context. And I've always wondered, why is it he managed to do that? What is it that enabled him to do that? And as I was considering this and reading the passage again, I picked up on a comment from the Pharisees and Herodians who were trying to bait Jesus into uh, complacency. And they say this, teacher, we know you are a man of integrity. You aren't swayed by others because you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. They compliment him to bait him. But through their comment, we see his integrity. And this, the grounding for his integrity is more clearly explained in his answer to the question about the greatest commandment, where he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and all your strength, and then love your neighbour as yourself. And Jesus lived in this way. He had integrity and he wasn't swayed by the world around him, by the difficult situations he found himself in. And it was this integrity that enabled him to respond so well in these difficult circumstances and to these difficult questions. And I think that's a wonderful encouragement and challenge to us to live with the integrity of Jesus, because then when the difficult questions come or difficult circumstances, God will give us the answers to say and will help us in those difficult moments to be faithful to him and to love those around us.